drinks. Don't laugh. And please don't kill the mental hospital. This is Habitat's Cafe where we'll be eating lunch at. Yeah. Okay, we're in Habitat's Cafe. Oh man, part of Oakley. And we're gonna. Amazing. The menu looks pretty cool, so we'll be back in a moment with our uh, food. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes, we can say we had all. Have you had it? Uh, maybe. I just want to point out for the record how crazy this bathroom is. Check out the old menu on the wall. Oh, man. All right. Also, Paul, tell us about this shirt you're wearing. Oh, there. man. You gotta review the world um, t shirt, man. Okay. What? Paul, tell us what this oh, is. Oh, man. These are the, um, let me get up here. The Habits Cincinnati Classic Potato Rags. <laughs> Potato Rags? Everybody knows that I love cherry coke, but I especially love it at a place like this where they use grenadine or, or cherry syrup. It's almost like homemade. Oh yeah. I can't wait to take a drink of this. Just just drown me in that. You know, put me in a bathtub full of it and just, you know, I'll say my last goodbyes. I'd die happy. Okay, the food is here and we're gonna go down the line. Paul, what did you get? I got the um, beef Godzilla burger. Oh man. It looks like it adds onion straws. Oh, yeah, and the crispy onion straws and the jalapeno mayonnaise. <laughs> This is my salmon burger. I got a teriyaki glaze. I got a black hole style with Canadian bacon. Um, sweet potato fries with apple butter dipping oh sauce. My God. Over here, you got the burger. Uh, what style is this? Uh, this would be the white hot sun style. So some spice. Keep and right. then Paul introduced what we have here in the middle oh, right for us to share. Right here in the, in, the, in the middle, we have an ostrich burger. Okay, this is the ostrich burger. Oh man, ostrich, never had it. Good. What's going on in there? That's really interesting. I mean, it's very lean, almost a little dry, but it's very, very good, very tender. It's just got a really different flavor. I get in this. Yeah, it's almost like a turkey burger, but a little bit. Yeah, almost like a turkey yeah. burger. That's good though. All right, Brian, let's give it a go. And another cool thing is that it now looks like Packers. <laughs> but, uh... Oh yeah, it kind of reminds me, it has a good smoky flavor too. It reminds me like when my dad used to grill burgers out in the backyard. This is pretty good. Just in time. I can't believe I just did that. It is raining hardcore. Um, we're gonna try to uh, continue our journey. Filler, this would be good filler and stuff. Too. Okay, what was the name of this place? Okay, there we go. Alamasis Bros, I believe? Aglamasis or something. Yeah. Um, we got a couple candies. You oh, have yeah. what's called a caramello. Yes, it is a caramel covered marshmallow. Caramel covered marshmallow. Go for it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Texturally, that looks like a lot of fun. It's, it's like, it all blends into one. Oh my god. It's, it's so like, fun. this is like a bullseye. This is, <laughs> this is like what a bullseye should taste like. Yes. Oh my god. It's like a fresh bullseye that has not been wrapped in plastic. And what else is in this bag of treats? Just a giant hunk <laughs> of white chocolate, I guess. They call this yeah. the uh, ivory chocolate. Yes. I don't even know if I can taste anything after that last the Carmelo. I'm still getting, I'm still getting annihilated by the Carmelo. It did resonate, it really does. I, I, I want to try this, but I'm so overwhelmed right now. Alright, let's go. How rich is that? That's very rich. Yeah. It's very good. It's very creamy. It's got that depth that white chocolate should have. It's definitely good. We'll oh, save that for later. We're now in what? Fresh Market. Oh, yeah. Eights, I don't exactly know what they are, but they look good and we're definitely going to give them a try. 
That's what I'm talking about. Seafood heaven. Huh? This is cool. Escargot. There are 89 cents each. We can get like four. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Tell me how hungry does this place make you? We just we just smashed that food and I'm I'm still I'm I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Okay. Okay, Beth is getting ready to try the curry, curry chicken, chicken salad. Yes, look at that. It looks I good. mean I just the smell alone is insane. Yeah, it's so good. And it's not that strong curry, it's like overwhelming, but it just permeates the senses and you just I can like literally just feel it. Like, yeah, that, so that, good. I can even smell like the aromatics from here. Are you gonna try that? Oh yeah. And then on this. Whoa. Wow, that's wicked. Yes. That's really good. Like I said, this is called a fresh market for a reason. This, this place is phenomenal. They got coffee. I'm trying to pretty much small right now. All right, live drink review. Oh man, creamy French vanilla is the flavor of this. And I have the English breakfast tea, which smells amazing. Oh good. Uh, very good, very refreshing. I added like a pinch of sugar to this and it's still amazingly sweet. Um, this is a comfort drink if there ever was one, especially in the winter time. This is nice and hot. This coffee, it's very, very rich, very good flavor. Um, it's, it's a flavored coffee, but the syrup isn't too heavy so you don't lose the natural bitterness of the coffee. And I've always been a big tea fan. My mom used to give me tea whenever I had a sore throat as a kid. So this is like nostalgia, it's comfort. It's very good, very good. Or stuff or something. The olive bar. Yes. Oh boy. Happening. Look at some garlic stuff, green olives, yes. Hi everybody, I'm here with Brittany. Uh, she is going to be a famous author and, and Hollywood star one day. Well, I, I believe we write a show. And Brittany is telling me a little bit about uh, a misconception about Fresh Market. Yeah, a lot of people assume that it's just like a whole food, like an all organic food. We have some organic stuff, but Pay close attention to the ingredients because it's not necessarily true. It's just a specialty food item store. So customers could assume that it's all organic and you'll find gluten-free sweet bread. She has set the yes. record straight officially today. Well, this is Brian and Brittany thanks for helping. And good luck with the screenplay and everything. Uh, you know, when you're in Hollywood, I'll say, hey, I knew, I knew Brittany. I knew her very well. Thank you. Always one of my favorite sections, the beverage aisle. Puerto Rican pineapple. You can like mix it together. It's that's odd. We got all kinds of drinks here. What is some Verner's ginger ale? My dad was a big fan. Uh, all kinds of drinks, man. I'm salivating actually here. All right, this is the fizzy Lizzy. Yeah, it's a Costa Rican pineapple. We don't know what's going on. It's a sparkling juice, but as you can see, there is some distillation. Uh, oh, There's very chunky at the bottom, very murky, and kind of like creek water at the top. Concentrate, I think, is what it is. So let's let's see what happens here. I guess we're supposed to do one of these. Wow. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, it's not even mixing. There's some big chunks floating around in there. <gasps> I got it. I got it. Oh no, there they are still. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, that's like, that's like a pineapple just bursting in your mouth. That is insane. So good. I'm going to have to try a drink so of this. Good. Yeah. And it's tart too, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it, there's nothing more than just saying I mean, it. It, it. It really, it's the fruit. It's not like, uh, I've had pineapple flavored soda um, from south of the border. Way too sweet, all the, you know. This tastes like the fruit, but then, man, that's got a really tart, acidic kick to it at the end. Uh, very fun drink, I like how it's got a head on it. Yeah, this is cool, I like it. Oh no me, I'm that rapper with a nine power glove and a sword off.